my child just came out, now what? We recommend number one, just love them. There is a lot of hatred, fear, and quite frankly, a lot of naive politicians making inaccurate and harmful decisions when it comes to trans and queer children. The mindset that allows politicians to move in such an uneducated and hateful direction mirrors what we see in other leaders like school board administrators, business executives, and ministers. As a result, trans and queer children are exposed to messages that leave them flooded with fear, anxiety, depression, and embarrassment. In this context, a parent's love is not just supportive, but it can also be corrective. What I mean is that when a trans or queer child hears a message like, I am unwanted, the attunement and persistence of a parent's love corrects any broken core belief, transforming it into a narrative that truly represents your child's value into a statement like, I am confident in who I am. Parents need to convince their children of their love over time with overt consistency. Number two, take your opinion to your own support group, not your child. When parents ask their children to be their teachers about all things queer or trans, the child is left managing both their parents' confusion and their parents' learning journey. Such a role leaves the child feeling like they have to support the parent who was supposed to be supporting them, or as though they have to protect the parent who should be protecting them. Processing your pain, frustration, grief, or assumptions outside of your relationship with your child will help you stay in the role of protective, loving parent. And as we mentioned before, being stable in your presence and your love for your child will help them learn how to love and protect themselves in the future. All right, number three, be respectful of wishes and boundaries. Coming out is a very big step for children of all ages. They may be comfortable talking about certain aspects of their lived experience, while unsure and therefore embarrassed or hesitant to talk about other aspects of their identities. Because sexuality and gender are fluid experiences that wax and wane over time, your child might be feeling like one label is true for who they are today, while they might find more comfort in another label next week. Their boundaries and wishes may leave you feeling so confused, and we totally get that but the journey of self-discovery is a very complex one. In this light, we recommend supporting the ongoing process of your child's identity formation as, suppose, as opposed to debating if the label they're using right now might not be the right fit. When they have finally found their resting place, your child will know that you were their secure base that allowed them tra to traverse their internal world without judgment and that is a priceless version of safety your child cannot get anywhere else. Number four, this might feel confusing. It is very confusing. Again, sexuality and gender are fluid experiences. Much like the equalizer of a stereo system that rises and falls with the music, so is the experience of sexual arousal and gender sensations. Your child might be fully submerged in the feelings of masculinity in one moment, day, or season of life, and when you are accustomed to their experience, it might change, flipping into the total opposite experience. Gender and sexuality exist on a spectrum, and I have learned that along the spectrum, we, tear, we typically experience a static segment of that spectrum, and you will see that your child's fluidity will flow within that one segment of the larger spectrum. So as you watch them learn about their bodies and their internal experiences, you might see that they have determined or found the answers for it to change later. In my observation of who we are as sexual and gender beings, we are learning about the full range of who we are, but discovering it one piece at a time. Be there for your child as they discover every piece, as opposed to assuming they're totally clueless. Number five, be your child's advocate. I recommend learning about your child from the inside out. A deep conversation in a safe container will help your child learn to feel safe with you, to feel seen by you, and learn to trust you. During this process, you will collect a lot of convincing data about who your child is as they experience the involuntary reactions of their bodies. This will allow you to be their advocate. Growing in confidence as a parent of your queer or trans child will help you fight bullying policies on school campuses, 
advocate for necessary health care, or stand up for your child um, against unaccepting family members. Although your child might be bold, they still need a protective parent to help them navigate a heated world. And number six, this is something to celebrate. As you learn about your child, I recommend reflecting back to your child all the beauty you see in them. In psychology, we call this mirroring. One, your child expresses or exposes who they are. Two, you see and learn about their experience. And three, you reflect it back to them, their value, their innocence and worth, all of which is worthy of celebration. Of course, celebrations can be as intentional as birthday parties with banners and candles, but it can also be as subtle as a greeting card, an approving smile, a simple high five, or being excited to buy new gender affirming clothing. In a big and little way, let your child know that they belong because of their LGBTQI plus identity. Sex ed. Many parents ask, where are comprehensive sex ed resources? I love the resources Daphne mentioned in this blog post. They're very reputable. One of my personal favorites is the OWL, O-W-L curriculum. It stands for Our Whole Lives, and it does a great job of neutralizing sex, providing accurate information in age-appropriate doses. But my favorite part is that they just don't go over the birds and the bees talk, but they also go through the bees and the bees and the birds and the birds talks. I recently talked with a parent of a queer 14 year old. She was very confident in her ability to meet her daughter where she was, allowing her daughter's questions to determine the depth of information. The mother created a safe place to talk openly, but also matched her daughter's needs with the questions her daughter asked. Following your child's curiosity is a great way to let the sex ed conversation be ongoing, but also let it be a tool that supports your child's growth based on their needs. We are firm believers that children are going to learn about sex from friends, teachers, social media, television, and so on and so forth. As a parent, you have the ability to either be your child's teacher or let someone else be their influencers. We want you to be your child's safety net. Create a safe learning environment so that your child can learn to trust you more than their friends. The safer you are, the more trusting they will be. We recommend learning about new pieces of medical research, stats of STIs or sexually transmitted infections as they pertain to the queer or trans communities, and familiarizing yourself with how sex occurs in the relationships within which your child might find themselves. One of the big topics when it comes to sex ed is consent. Teaching your youth how to have mature, ongoing, two-way conversations of consent is important. Stereotypically, just go with me for a second, we assume that in straight relationships, the male will ask for sex and the female will consent to it. But what happens in the variety of relational dynamics like that of a bisexual youth who might need to give and get consent from a male partner in one experience and a female in another. Making sure your child is prepared to give and get consent will help them advocate for themselves, pick healthy and mature partners, but it will also allow them to protect themselves. Giving your child the permission and confidence to take care of themselves, their bodies, and their partners will help your child make great sexual decisions as they launch into adulthood. Of course, if you find that you need support along this journey, we are here to support you.